Look at this. So cool. Oh, you gotta get the pedal wall too. The I what? Mean, the pedal wall. So one of the things I wanted to do when I moved to Richmond was to pretty much get involved with some sort of a music community, some sort of group where I could collaborate with musicians because there was really nothing like that when I lived in Florida, at least in the city that I was in. And while I have a really good group of people that I collaborate and chat with online through social media, there's something about having a group of people in the city that you're in that you can meet up with in person to share ideas, listen to each other's music, and just learn from each other. I think there's something really profound and sort of just gets at a deeper level when you're able to be in person like that. And so I was actually at a meetup group recently and I was chatting with someone about this and he mentioned that there is this group or rather this facility called Orbital Music Park. And it's this very interesting concept where it's this big open space and it's sort of advertised as the gym of music. You go there and there's just musical equipment scattered throughout the place. You pay a membership fee and you're able to use all of this equipment. There's people that are just playing bongo drums, regular drums, keyboards, guitars, weird instruments that I've never seen before. And they're all just having a good time and collaborations lead to that. There's live events that they do. And when I'm hearing about it, it seems like it would be the perfect place for me because they even have a couple private areas where you can either record, rehearse. For me, I would probably record vocals there since I just still don't have a great means to do that at this point. Um, so I'm actually gonna be checking that out. So I'm gonna take you along for the ride, sort of. Uh, I'm a little leery of taking my camera into the facility uh, for the first time going, but I'll see if I can at least take some video with my phone and put it on this video. Uh, but I'm really excited, but I will say that there's, I really like meeting people and getting involved in new activities, but I will say that my anxiety level gets very high when I do things like this. So it's, it's this strange sort of tug, tug of war between me wanting to, to meet new people and, and try out new things. And then this other pull of, no, you should, you should stay in your comfort zone. You're, you're good here. And so currently as I'm sort of vocalizing this and knowing that I'm going to be checking this out later today, there is that tug of war happening because it's something that is really just outside my comfort zone, but I'm going to do it anyway. So I'm going to take you along. So the next time that I'll be on, we'll hopefully be at the facility. All right, so I just arrived, which my AC is broken right now in my car. And even though it's only, well, I guess it's 76 outside, it feels like it's about 96 in here. But it's just this building right out here. You, there's not really a whole lot to see. There's a Orbital Music Park sign out front. Um, I feel a little weird taking this in, so I'm probably not going to. Uh, nerves are a little built up at this point, but I'm gonna do my best to take some video while I'm in there so you can get a, a sense of for what it looks like. And yeah. This is Orbital Music Park with all of the, so over here, that, so that's where people will uh, have, not the rehearsals, but jams. the jams, okay, got it. Everything's so ornately decorated too. Instruments everywhere. Look at this, so cool. Oh, you gotta get the pedal wall too. The I what? Mean, the pedal wall. All of the damn pedals that we have. Oh my god, look at that. There. Jesus. We've wow. got all kinds of shit. Including a theremin. Oh, this would be a what? A theremin right there. Mood theremin. This? This guy. Oh, I don't even know what that is. It's the is kind that? where you control the frequencies with your hands, so... I saw a video of that. Yeah, yeah. I, that looks wild. It's I, fun. Yeah. It's very fun. I, I have no idea how that stuff works. Me neither, but it's yeah. still fun. <laughs> I, that, I, I saw a video that I definitely want to try that at some point. Oh, yeah. 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 Very good. cool. Yeah, Jesus, there's stuff everywhere. And two private or I guess not private well semi-private private when you're in there they're private, private when you're in there yeah, yeah. pods to record music yeah 
Awesome. All right, just got out of the music park. So the girl that was showing me through, her name was Bunny. I don't know if she was actually in frame. I wasn't really paying attention to where my, my camera was pointed when I had it out filming. Um, but she was saying that there's a, all sorts of neat music nights that they have there. Like tonight is this event where they have a Grateful Dead cover band. They have blues nights. Um, they're, and they're just jams where you can just go in and just literally pick up an instrument. I, I don't know if you if the video really captured just how many random instruments there were lying around, but it was just, uh, I didn't even know how to use half of them. I, I actually dabbled on a few synthesizers or, or tried, but I didn't even know how to turn them on. But um, I met a couple people there already, and uh, you know, it seems like a real welcoming environment, which was the, the main thing that uh, I wanted. I feel like some things that uh, I can join can be a little bit clicky and hard to really break through, but Bunny made it seem like it's super easy to meet people, and at least from the the short interactions that I had in there, it, it seems like a, a real solid place to be. So um, definitely a great choice, and all, all I'll say is that if you have something in your town where there's some sort of music collaboration, either venue like this or, or even just a group, um, I would highly recommend it. I mean, it was freaky to for me to just walk in there just because it was a new place that I was unfamiliar with. And I was uh, probably actually definitely skittish when I was playing the instruments in there. I actually picked up a guitar and started strumming a little bit, but uh, definitely that fear of judgment was definitely sitting in. Even though like I know I'm a reasonably good guitar player, it's still that weird, uh, anxiety thing. But anyway, I think it's going to be really great, and uh, uh, I hope uh, you got, well, I don't know if you actually got anything out of this, but I just figured I'd bring you along for my journey. I feel like I haven't really posted a lot of just, you know, what's going on in my life and how I'm trying to better myself as a musician. I've been doing a few tutorials here and there, but uh, I feel like sort of the the, the mantra of this channel got lost a little bit and I wasn't really sharing the, the things that were going on in my life pertaining to music. So this is sort of my way to, to revitalize that. So that's all I got. No, no uh, crazy knowledgeable parting words. Just see you in the next video.